Hey, what's up guys? It's Dario from Bluebird Coffee Roastery and today we're going to be talking about the Malkunig X54 Home Grinder. to get our hands on this grinder for quite some time. Um, as a business, we're excited about Malkunig. We run E65Ss and EK43s in the roastery, and I've been very excited to put this grinder through its paces for a home setup. In the South African context, we don't actually have that much access to great quality grinders. Um, you know, we watch these amazing YouTube videos of um, roasters and baristas and content creators from around the world comparing all these amazing grinders and we look on with envy in South Africa. I've got a little um, DF64 that I run at home with my Linear Mini and even that grinder, which has got a cult following around the world, is currently unavailable locally. So we're very, very hard pressed for choices, um, but the backup and support of Malkonig in South Africa is fantastic. So we've been excited to see if this is a real contender in the home market and who this grinder would actually work well for. Um, the overall build quality on first impressions has been really, really good. The body feels sturdy, the um, forks, the portafolds of forks are fantastic. The only criticism I have from a build quality point of view is probably the adjustment down. It just feels a little bit flimsy and on our particular model went down at the lower end of the grind range towards very fine espresso. Um, it has been getting jammed um, every now and then. Running the grinder, you know, going coarser, coming back to a finer grind setting has solved the issue, but it has been a bit of a disappointment. The user interface is fantastic. We've got a bunch of different um, settings that can be um, preset for grind on demand, and you've also got your continuous grind setting, which is great. Um, popping the forks in and out to then adapt it for filter coffee is very, very simple and easy to do. And um, it really is a grinder that can cover the whole range from very fine espresso all the way through to French press. My one criticism though from a marketing perspective is that I wouldn't really position this grinder as an all-rounder for filter and espresso on a daily basis. And the reason for that is that it's not a single dose grinder. This is a really important point for us to address because single dose grinders are all the rage at the moment. I'm a huge fan of single dose grinders. In our cafe, we have a freezer menu where we freeze extremely high quality coffees in 20 gram doses and we single dose um, that coffee through our EK43 so that we can pull individual shots um, of espresso and then jump immediately over to filter coffee from dose to dose. This grinder with its hopper in place as it comes from the factory without any modifications is definitely not a single dose grinder. So you will be loading this hopper with coffee and if you're changing from filter to espresso, please do expect a bit of wastage as you move through your grind range. Having said that, if you are going to be sticking to one brew method for a period of time, so if you're going through a filter phase and then you'll be switching back to espresso later on, I definitely think this is a great grinder that can cover the whole range. We're working with flat burrs, uh, 54 millimeters hardened steel, um, typical quality that you would expect from a Malkunig. We've been very impressed, very clean filter coffees. The espresso be, espressos have been tasting great. My one criticism from a grinding quality perspective is that on our lighter roast coffees, we are getting a lot of clumping. So if you're not using a WDT to break up those clumps, you are gonna struggle a bit with channeling. Easy to solve though, and the quality is still fantastic. So will we be recommending this grinder to our customers? Yes, absolutely, but it's gonna be dependent on what you're looking for. My personal um, home setup at the moment is a Commandante for grinding for filter coffee, and then I've got my DF64 that I'm using for espresso. Um, the reason for that is that I'm single dosing and I want to be able to switch between coffees on a regular basis. If you're buying a similar coffee over and over again and you're gonna be working through a full bag just for espresso or just for filter, then this grinder could be a really, really great fit for you. It does come at a hefty price point compared to other grinders in the same sort of space, but you are getting exceptional build quality and Malkunig translates literally to the king of grinders and that's what you can expect here. You can expect something that's gonna last a long time and give you consistently high quality grinds, dose after dose after dose. 
I love this little grinder. If I was running the same coffee over and over again at home, it would definitely be my first choice in the South African context. Um, internationally, there's a lot more competition for it, but I think you're in a really good space if you're choosing the Malkonig X54 for your everyday home espresso grinder or home filter grinder. Thanks for watching this video guys, we've got lots more great content coming. Please like, subscribe, comment, do all the things that you know to do and let us know what kind of content you want to see from us in the future. Ciao! Should I lean forward like this? You don't have to if you don't want to. Is it better when I'm standing? Yeah, it's better when... Yeah, it's know. more professional. Is it more professional? Hello guys! Enjoy that while editing. <laughs>